Hello folks, it's another wet day, so it's another art video. Um, mar more mark making with more charcoal or chalk, coloured chalk. Um, so I have a little black bit of paper. I would rather it was huge, but it's small because that's all I've got. One of these trial paper packs you get, quite good. A pair of scissors, um, a tiny little bit of charcoal and some scrap paper. And so again, experimenting, that's what it's all about. And as I say, I've got some char coloured charcoal type stuff. So, quite a bit of paper. Let's just make some edges. So we're going to make some edges. There's a nice, a really nice edge there already, actually. I might just uh, tear into a circular sort of shape. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this, maybe. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, a slightly less ragged edge and I'm not really thinking too much about this I'm just making um, edges but, and that'll probably do just now so this is muck about time and this is what this is about so I'll try and keep that paper there try and keep this so a bit of charcoal and let's see what happens Pass it over two edges. Man, these are, this is when the edges can just disappear. Really, really gorgeous. This is just part of your vocabulary for art, for art making. Take it away. Get this lovely silhouette. What would happen if we mirror it? Very rough edge here. But actually, this time I might just go onto the paper, pull it towards the edge. So you've got to try and look at how you manipulate this. But that, doing that just gives me like a pool of colour. Kind of thing. And oh, we're just going to look at the end. Secret to this is I'm not trying to draw in particular. I'm just mucking around with edges. Okay. It's really quite abstract and I've got a gorgeous wee bit here. That's that. That's going to be. So I'll put that this way. No, I'll put it this way. Maybe, I think. Um, see what happens if I just go right over here. And this is really amazing for continuing into like lights and darks, tonal work. You're just, you're not doing anything, you're just going round an egg, you're just getting this gorgeous. So at the moment it's abstract, but you know, some people will want to put, put this into more realistic working. Um, yeah, no, no pain at all, it's just see what, there's quite a lot you can really push that around quite a lot. It's just a very lovely thing to do and you find out what happens when you do this. I'm just going to turn this upside down to uh, get this bit of paper down here. Um, should we go for a straight edge this time or not? Maybe we'll go this way and run it along. Basically, that's, oh, that's using it like a ruler, but then as soon as you start manipulating it towards or away from the edge, you're, you're get, I'd say you're getting something a little bit different. Let's see if we can make the edge disappear. Here, I've got a long paper. <laughs> that was bad planning. I might take this back in here. Use the, use the charcoal that's on the paper or in the finger already. Just, just, yeah, just, just 
eventually disappear, but a big girl uh, longer bit of paper will continue to disappear. Okay, um, so you can see what's happening, just building up, and you get lovely layers out of this, and we can maybe add a layer across here because we want to soften up that edge, maybe. Do this. But the kids will find out what they can do and they will, when they've got another task, when maybe they're looking for soft changes of gradient or something, they might think, oh, I could, I could use this technique. It's not really a technique, it's just a, it's just a muck around. So I've got a black bit here and I've got. Which, I mean, I know schools have got the black, uh, the big. Can you still see that? Yes. Uh, the larger, what, well, A3s, I think, so they'd be quite good for this. So, same thing, just the same thing. Just colour, 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 colour. Haven't used this yet, so I might just follow the shape then. Using it mostly along its length just because it's it spread around a bit more. And the beauty is, you can get really sharp edges, or you can really soften everything out. To end up there, very subtle. Again, it's just never ending the possibilities. It's just too, you can't mention these things because it's just too much. It's too easy to off. Um, a different colour. The blue does against this. Soft edge, so yeah, it's turning up too much. This is side is fine, so that side might go that way. But that's what you work out as you're doing it. And the kids are Sometimes. So we have, yeah, could be that way, could be that way. This mark making makes you feel gorgeous because of the colour in there, as well as the dark against the light, and you get medium, lots of different tones in there as well. Um, should we go for a really sharp edge? Oh, 
くくないかな So look, you know, you can go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. It's it's a vocabulary of my reckon. Just another little bit of that. So hopefully this is the shortest video. Have a great day. Cheerio.